Hi, I'm Dr. Arvinda, Senior Periodontist at FMS Dental Hospitals. What is bad breath, foul odor or halitosis? Bad breath, foul odor or halitosis is a very common problem affecting at least 50% of the people. Most people do not realize that they have bad breath until somebody close to them or a family member informs them about it. Bad breath once evident is a big blow to one's confidence, causing uh, social anxiety and embarrassment. What causes bad breath? Even in a healthy mouth, there are thousands of bacteria, some among which break down the food particles that we eat and produce sulfur compounds. When these bacteria which produce sulfur compounds increase in number, that usually happens with poor oral hygiene, it leads to bad breath. In short, three factors responsible for bad breath are food retention, increase in bacterial numbers and volatile sulfur compounds. When we look at the tongue up close, it is very rough with lots of crypts and crevices which acts as a reservoir for bacteria. So people who do regular brushing but not regular tongue cleaning also develop bad breath. Any form of cavities or tooth decay in the mouth leads to food accumulation, increasing the bacterial numbers and causing bad breath. Whenever a patient has gum disease, there are deep pockets in the gums which allow easy growth of the bacteria and regular brushing doesn't disturb these bacteria leading to high numbers and release of volatile sulfur compounds. Collection of pus anywhere in the mouth like due to infected tooth or gum disease or a erupting third molar can also lead to bad breath. Saliva plays a very important role in flushing the bacteria from the mouth and also the food debris which is the nutrient source for the bacteria. Whenever salivary flow reduces, for instance in dry mouth conditions, in dehydrated conditions and naturally during sleeping hours, bad breath develops. After waking up, we usually observe bad breath which is physiologic and is called morning breath. Dry mouth can be caused by a lot of reasons like medications, or salivary gland diseases or any underlying medical conditions. Transient bad breath can also be caused by foods containing sulfur compounds like onions or garlic. Consuming alcohol or smoking can also lead to bad breath. Mouth is usually considered a mirror for the general health of the patient or systemic health of the patient. Health issues elsewhere in the body can also present as bad breath, for instance, respiratory conditions like chronic sinusitis, tonsillitis, tonsil stones or lung infections can lead to buildup of secretions in the body leading to increase of bacteria ultimately causing bad breath. GI issues like GERD, acid reflux or any abnormalities in the food pipe can also result in halitosis. Diabetic patients also present with a typical fruity smell. Similarly, liver failure or kidney failure leads to accumulation of toxins in the body leading to peculiar breaths. Rarely, patients do visit the dentist complaining of bad breath but do not have any noticeable halitosis. In such patients, usually it is associated with OCD-like symptoms or other psychological symptoms. How to get rid of bad breath? Most patients with bad breath can be managed with proper oral hygiene instructions which includes regular tongue cleaning along with a medicated mouthwash apart from regular brushing methods. Any problem areas in the mouth like cavities or gum disease or third molars need to be addressed to reduce food retention in the mouth. In most patients with halitosis, even gum bleeding is commonly observed. In such patients, one or two sittings of cleaning will give good results. If severe gum problems are identified, they may also be suggested flap surgery or laser therapy. Non-oral or systemic conditions, if suspected to be the reason for bad breath, the patient will be referred to a specialist as per the problem for further treatment. If you have any doubts or further queries on bad breath, you can call 1-800-273-8255.